lecture we are going to develop a real time communication system uh, with which a user can communicate his things to more than two persons at the same time and it's a two way communication system which we are going to develop today and uh, you know i have five browsers open on the device i'm working on so we'll be testing this app on five different devices five different browsers or you can consider them as five different devices also so i'm going to create five different profiles in these five different browsers first and after that uh, we'll see how this app works so this is the first id with which i am creating the first profile on this first browser let's hit the submit button and see what's going to happen so the user is going to get redirected on this screen now let's come on this second uh, browser and create one more profile using another id let's say anubhav@gmail.com uh let's now create the third id so let it be gaurav@gmail.com and with this i am creating the third profile the same thing i'm going to repeat two more times on this i am going to create uh, an id profile with this id or no okay and now we are left with only one so let's create one more profile let uh, let's create it with this uh, id laranya@gmail.com okay now let's minimize these two and hit this screen so this is the first browser so the user is going to get redirected on this screen where he will get where he'll get to see uh is id with which uh, he has got his profile registered on this platform here in the bottom and if he'll click on this drop down he'll be able to see all the ids of all the all the people who have registered their profiles on this platform likewise if he'll click on this the same thing is going to happen here also and as you can see all the profiles are also getting reflected over here fine same thing is going to happen here also and let's hit this the screen on the fourth browser so here also you'll be able to see all the ids and this is id of the person who has created his profile on this platform this is the fifth browser and here also uh, the id of that person is getting reflected who has created his profile on this Now uh let's do one thing let's make use of this browser and send a message to one of the one of these people so for doing that we need to hit this drop down and select the person whom we want to send the message with this id dia@gmail.com so it means that dia is now going to send a message to one of them let's say our laranya okay so So let's say this is a message which Dia want to send to Laranya. So how can she do that? She just have to click the send button. Okay. Now let's see whether Laranya has received the message sent by Dia or not. So we need to come on that browser or device on which Laranya has registered uh, through which Laranya registered her profile has registered her profile on this platform. So this is the one. now what we have to do as dia has sent the message to laranya so we need to select dia from this drop down and we need to click here on this this is a text box which i have made use of for fetching the message sent by the sender so we just need the laranya need to just tap on this and she will be able to fetch the message which dia has sent to her now if she want to respond to her message she can put her message here in the text box area hi uh, dear i am doing great okay how about you so let's say if dear 
sorry, if Laranya Let's say Laranya want to send this message to Dia So what she can do? She can hit this send button after writing another message and now let's check whether Dia has received the message on her device or not. So for that we need to hit this text box area. So Dia has received the message sent by Laranya successfully. Okay. Now uh, let's say if Dia want to respond to her message, can he? Can she do that now or not? Let's see. I am also doing great. Let's uh, hit the send button. So I think uh, Laranya will be able to receive the message over here. How? Just on a single click, she needs to tap on this text box area and she'll be able to receive the message sent by Dia successfully. Now, if suppose uh, Dia want to talk to Anubhav at the same time, so what she can do, she can select Anubhav's ID, the ID with which Anubhav has registered his profile on this platform, you can select that ID and send a message to Anubhav. Okay, let's send this message and now we need to see whether Anubhav has received the message or not. So for that we need to select Dia's ID from this drop down and hit this text box area over here. So Anubhav has received the message successfully. Fine. Now let's come on those two, the uh, rest of the two browsers, where are they? Okay. Uh, here uh, it's Arnav's ID with which uh, he has created his profile on this platform. If suppose you want to send a message to Anubhav, so he can do it like this. Hi Anubhav, what about, what about the work I had given you this Sunday. So this is the fourth device on which we are uh, testing this app, right? Let's send this message and see whether Arnav will be able to send. Yes, Arnav has successfully sent the message to Anubhav. Let's see whether Anubhav will be able to receive the message sent by Arnav or not. So for that, she, he needs to first select the ID of Arnav, right? You need to first select the ID of Arnav from this drop down which is getting reflected over here. So Arnav's ID is this. Uh, okay, now let's hit this text box area. This is a message which Arnav has sent to Anubhav. Fine, now let's uh, reply to this, send a reply to this message. Yes, I am through with that work. Suppose this is the message which Anubhav, uh, with which Anubhav want to reply to the message sent by Arnav. So that's how he can do it. So as you can see, Arnav has received the message successfully. Let's now try it on uh, this fifth browser. Where is that? We need to search for it. Not this one. It's the coding part. It is of Dia, it is of Anubhav. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, let's now do one thing. Let's now select uh, ID of Arnav from here on this uh, Gaurav's panel and send a message to Arnav. Send this message to Arnav and see what's gonna happen. Now, uh, if we want to check whether uh, he'll be able to receive the message sent by Gaurav or not, so we need to select Gaurav's ID from here. And now let's set this text box area. So Arnav has received the message successfully. So you know, this is how this app works. And 
you know it you can make use of this communication system on more than two devices at the same time now let's check out the code which i have made use of for creating this beautiful app this is a code.org platform now as you can see this is a sign in screen which the user is going to come across first when he will open the app on his device fine and here he is required to enter the email id and here he is required to enter is the password automatically when he will hit this submit button this is the code which is going to get executed now there is a table with name users which is going to get created automatically on the data browser and the email part and the password feed whatever the user is defined for these two things it is automatically going to get saved in two different columns inside this table called users fine and the user will get redirected on this screen 8 okay and when the user will hit this button automatically he is going to get redirected on this screen 9 screen 9 where uh, he will get to see this uh, drop down button and this his id over here now how we are fetching the id for uh, this label box and for the for this drop down over here so this is the code that i have made use of for doing the same this code that you're seeing the read re, uh, the read records the first read records which you're seeing inside this on event block it is it will be fetching the email address of the user from this user's feed the person who has created the profile who is currently working on the device his email id is going to get reflected over here how just because of this code which will get executed automatically when the user will hit the image 13 present on screen 8 okay so the email id will be fetched from the users table and automatically you know uh, this uh, the idea of this component is sender email so the text of this is going to get set uh, through this code that i've defined over here fine and now comes the second thing which is this drop down so for getting all the ids uh, you know of all those people who have registered their profile on this platform to get reflected on this in this drop down we have made use of this code which you are seeing right now so again the records are going to get pulled up from this users table here i have made use of this list component you remember we uh, you know in one of the previous lectures we made use of this for creating cascading drop downs so it's it is a very essential thing it is a very important thing that you should know about if you are working on this drop down and you want to see uh, you know two or more records to get reflected here and you are fetching those records from the table then the uh, it's a very good thing you can make use of it's a very beautiful thing list is the name of this variable which i've defined over here it's the data type of this variable and here uh, this append item uh, property i've used for appending for uh, you know adding all the items which are there in the table users in uh, you know to this list named user ids and finally i have made use of this set property for setting the options for this drop down for this is drop down for okay for setting the items or you can see options for this drop down for equal to the items which are saved in this user ids list fine and finally what will happen the and finally the user is going to get redirected on screen 9 once uh, these two things will get executed successfully okay now let's come on this send button code so when the user after writing the message over here he will hit this send button this is a code which is going to get executed now table with name uh, you know the id which is getting reflected over here and the id which he will be choosing from this drop down the concatenation part of that id uh, whatever the uh, you know whatever the result is whatever the result compiler will get after concatenating these two things or adding to these two things with that result a table is going to get created fine in which the sender's id let me convert it into the text based code in which the sender's email address is going to get saved uh, in, in this column sender 
receiver's email address is going to get saved in this receiver's column and the message which the sender has sent to the receiver it is going to get saved in this message box okay now let's come on this part and finally uh, what what will happen to this message box it will go null it will go empty okay because we don't want that after sending the message it should uh, it should still get reflected in the message box so that's the reason uh, it will go null it will go empty now uh, whatever the message is getting reflected over here whatever the message the user will type here that will not be visible to the user anymore that's what it means okay now how uh, a user is going to get the message so for that he can hit this text area which you're seeing over here the idea of which is get message so when the user will hit this get message this is the uh, uh, you know code which is going to get executed so the records are going to get pulled up from this table you remember the table in which uh, we saved the sender's email id the receiver's email id and the message which the sender sent to the receiver from the same table the records are going to get pulled up and the, the text which is getting reflected inside this uh, message box is it is going to get set equal to records i dot message so you know this is the code which i have made use of for creating this beautiful communication system do try it on your own fine and in case you want the uh, facility of coding classes you can avail it now uh, you will have to pay 500 rupees per month and in that you will be getting you will get 15 co online coding classes okay thank you very much and god bless you all with a great future have a great day